Okay, you guys, I decided to get um, record a video to show you all how I make a stencil. Um, this stencil is going to be using a cardboard um, poster board that I bought from Dollar Tree. And I cut the poster board in half with a rotary cutter. Well, a little bit more than in half. I actually uh, sized it to the board and tried to cut it with the rotary cutter. And then I'm going to uh, use the Cricut machine to cut my design. Once I do my design, I will show you all what I'm going to do with this um, stencil. Okay. Okay, you all. So... Let me make sure that you all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I let the um, design print, as you can see. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to weed this. And we're still making the stencil, okay? I'm just going to weed it just like I would if this was vinyl or um, anything else. So basically just let's take the full I don't want to break anything so because I do want it and I uh, put this on a like the thickest card stop so I hope that I probably should have used the weeder and this is just a simple card and if you all would like to see what I'm going to do with this stencil, just comment down below. I might just post a video anyway, so you all can see. And it may give you all a crafting idea, so. I can see one part that I'm going to have to. And I made this design like a 18 by 12 or 18 by 11.5 or something like that. I can't remember the exact um, measurements, but I can, they're on my computer. So if you all would like to know, just comment down below. Okay. So this is going to be my stencil that I'm going to use, as you, as you can see. And this piece right here, you can keep it if you want, because you never know what you will need a stencil for. So I'm just going to take all the letters off because you can also use these letters as a tracing tool and you'll have them. So I'm just going to take them all off. The middle of the A I will be using to go along with my stencil because it doesn't have a middle piece to it. So I will be using that. Okay. The rest of this stuff I'll take off. Y'all, my mat is very dirty. I try to keep it clean. It's so hard to keep this thing clean with different, when you messing with different fabrics and, you know, on carpet and things like that. Because I like to sometimes sit on the floor and do stuff. So it just makes it easier. But as you can see, the different materials and stuff get stuck. Okay. Okay, you guys, that's the end of the video on how I make my stencils. So, let me show you this piece. And I may go in and I may uh, cut it, like the extra access piece, especially this piece. But anyways, but that's how I make my, this is going to be my Chanel logo stencil, okay? So, hope you all can see it. Let me put it in this view. Okay, I wanted to come back in um, on here and show you all guys one last thing and that is how I'm going to um, add my little pieces to give it the full um, effect because like I said this is a, supposed to be a stencil so I want you all to see how I did the entire stencil because once you cut it it does cut out pieces that you may need. So, 
I just took a piece of scotch tape and I cut it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the pieces back where they were. For example, this piece here is here. I'm just placing it back in there and then I'm going to place this middle piece. This middle piece is the piece that I want. I don't really care to have anything else but this middle piece. So I'm just going to stick the tape firmly on the middle piece and then I'm just going to skip the rest and then I'll just poke that through like that. Okay? So now this will be my middle piece and I know that that's my middle piece. Okay? And then I'll do the A the same way. So I'll take this A and I'll put it back right there. Then I'll put this middle piece back inside. And this middle piece is the piece that I need. So I'm going to cut my piece of tape. I'm so tired of this fabric getting everywhere. Okay, so this is the piece. You can also try to measure it the best way you can if you like, if that's what you want to do. But I just want to kind of, I'm real, like, I guess you can say I'm like a little OCD when it comes to things. And I be trying to have it right or perfect, rather, even though everything in this world is not perfect. But I try to make it the best I can. Okay, so there we go. So now we got the middle pieces, okay? And that'll conclude it.